on uh, Nile TV and uh, the first segment of the program would be uh, about Al Wahat uh, Al Bahariya or the Bahari Oasis which is located about 370 kilometers away from uh, Cairo it is located in uh, Giza governorate and the main economic sectors are agriculture iron mining and uh, tourism the main agricultural products are uh, mangoes dates and olives the people of the oasis or the Wahati people meaning uh, are the descendants of the ancient people who inhabited the oasis the Bedouin tribes from Libya and the north coast and uh, other people from the north valley who came to settle in the oasis as I said tourism is the main sector here in Al Wahat Al Bahariya and to be speaking more about tourism in uh, the Al Wahat Al Bahariya we're honored to be having with us today on uh, Nile Cruise Mr Khalid Khalifa the tourism expert Mr Khalid thank you very much for being with us today yeah you will come well, indeed uh, good afternoon uh, Mr Khalid now um, the, the oasis is rich in its touristic aspects could you shed some light on uh, some of the highlights of tourism here yes Please uh, let me first make some thanks. Yes. Uh, first, I would like please to thank uh, mm -hmm. our president, Abdel Fattah Sisi, mm -hmm. for the peace holding in the Middle East and leading our country ahead. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask to thank also the, our mayor mm -hmm. of Bahariya Oasis, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Taysir, for all the development he has done and for this oasis. I would like to also to thank especially the Nile TV crew and team for coming and promoting our this nice peaceful oasis and so this Bahari oasis is one of the five oasis located in the western desert. One of the peaceful oasis uh, so the most important the quietness, the peaceful, and that's most tourists coming here for this peaceful place with this wonderful energy, the hospitality of the people. That beside, of course, this wonderful environment we have here, the lakes, the hot springs, uh, the balm groves, the history of Bahariya oasis, mm -hmm. like uh, you, you have the tombs of Banantiu, the golden mummies, the temple of Muftella, we have a lot of uh, history or big history here, uh, dated mostly for 28th dynasty. Mm -hmm. the, also the geology of the place and the landscape, which really wonderful in this oasis. Yes, uh, you mentioned the Wahati people or the people of uh, Wahat. A lot of people said that uh, the people of uh, Wahat uh, are very friendly, very honest, very hospitable. Mm -hmm. How would you describe them for the tourists who would be liking to come here? The people in Bahari, as he calls them, the sons of the desert, and they have special traditions to welcome the people. To uh, they are very hospitality. In hospitality, they are very good. And we love to see strangers, foreigners, to welcome people. And that's, I had it since I'm a child, I could see it. A lot of tourists used to come, or you can say backpack travelers, was coming to the oasis. And these tourists, of course, at that time, there is no hotels, no restaurant. For this, people was inviting them to their houses and always staying, maybe stay in one house and they have different uh, meals in different houses. So the people, they like to see people, strangers, people not here, they are welcoming them beside more the tourism which brings now really a good income for the people. So it is uh, a joy for the people of the oasis to work in tourism and to welcome the people in this nice peaceful oasis. Yes. Now of course safari is one of the biggest uh, fields here. But I'm interested before we talk about safaris in talking about medical tourism because recently there were calls of putting medical tourism on the agenda of uh, uh, the tourism ag agenda in Egypt. And here the Wahat, actually the Bahariya Oasis is rich, whether in the sulfur spring, the hot spring, the cold spring or even the beautiful sand. So would you talk to us about that aspect please? Yeah. <coughs> Clearly, yes. Bahariya Oasis, uh, as I said, it's had a wonderful environment. Yes. 
and uh, the quietness, the peaceful. So it is itself, it's called healing, a wonderful energy to heal the people just to come yes. and to relax and to stay. <laughs> the positive the energy. With this positive energy, of course, you come and stay, enjoy this mm -hmm. peaceful atmosphere. Yes. That beside, of course, we have uh, more than 30 hot springs, <coughs> which between the temperature between 20 to 55 degrees. Yes, between winter and summer. All the time. Yes. The same temperature. Uh -huh. For this, uh, this hot temperature and the water, which have a lot of minerals, it's a very good for the body and the skin. And so it's really, it's a good treatment for physiotherapy and the skin. Yes. So that's one thing. And also we had learned last few years also to do a lot of uh, massages and mm -hmm. also energy massages. Yes. Like feet massage reflexion. Mm -hmm. The feet massage reflexion, it works always in the feet. Yes. And helps the people healing a lot of people in the energy way, in an energetic way, not in a breast way. Yes, so what about the, the meditation? Because uh, me and Russia have spoken more about uh, the meditation and as you mentioned, positive energy, having all the positive energy inside yeah. your body and letting uh, everything go, maybe the negative energy, the stress, uh, everything w that comes with that. Yeah. How can we do that nowadays in Al Wahat Al Bahariya or the Bahariya Oasis? Yeah. Of course, uh, as I told you, we could use this or uh, use the chance that we have this positive energy because if this nice environment, the quartz sites and also it's also part of the healing. So we could arrange a lot of tours for meditations in the desert and also in different parts in the oasis where we feel really it's a wonderful energy. So, and the meditation itself, it's a very important for everybody, for the older, for the younger, for all the different age of the people, because it brings peace inside you. Mm -hmm. So, it brings peace inside you. The meditation, it's a way how to clear your mind, your thoughts, your yes. thinking, and relaxing the body, relaxing the thoughts. Uh, so, uh, bring his peace and love to the people, and that's uh, very important. We have this meditation in a different way earlier, yes. with the Sufi way of religious, but the meditation yes. itself, it's not a religion, it's a science, which helps the people who practice it to become more clearer, more peaceful, more do uh, treating with love, and we could arrange a lot of tours in the oasis, and of course the meditation is very important, as I said, and now you could see it always in different hospitals all over the world. They are using meditation for helping different patients in the hospital to get rid of the pain and more relax and yes. ready also for different operation, make the body and the soul ready to go in an operation or in another uh, dimension. Yes. Another uh, important aspect which I've mentioned before uh, that at the beginning is safari. Safari is very big here. Now, um, how, uh, what's the type of itineraries for safaris here? I mean, we have a lot of different uh, possibilities, different itineraries here. Mm. We have different kind of tours. As we said, we have uh, tours for uh, healing or tours for no, meditation. The safari, camera. I mean desert, the desert safari in a sense. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean... In the desert, you can do everything. Yeah, so it can be a safari and you do other stuff with yes. it. Yeah. Yes, yes. In the other places, we could dive in safari. So mm -hmm. in Baharia here, mm -hmm. we could do trekking safari. So people mm -hmm. could go for a walk, but you have cars with them. Mm -hmm. You have mm -hmm. also camera ride safari. You have, of course, meditation safari. You could have also explorer safari, because why desert, one of the unique places in the world it was... Mm -hmm. Rich, uh, with its, uh, its richness as have this wonderful formation mm -hmm. which make it a nice nurture for photographers. Uh, it have a lot of tools from prehistoric time. Mm -hmm. We discovered a lot of caves from prehistoric times and they have graffiti and rock art painting. So a lot of shells. So it's, it's a big field for geologists, for painters for uh, history studying. So it's, it's just this piece which around 60 kilometer by 60 kilometer, which is not that big, but it's very rich in different 
possibilities you can do a lot of different kind of safaris not only adventure safari which you can go by over the dunes by cars or uh, having fun of course by driving in this uh, area nice area yes i do understand that you have your own programs that you have devised here in al wahat al bahariya or yes. the bahari oasis for the tourists and for the foreigners who come here yes what are the types that you have devised or have created in the past few years yeah i mean i can tell you uh, shortly earlier we used to work we can say without no plans with not anything just backpack travelers who was mm -hmm. coming to the oasis staying by us mm -hmm. in the oasis and we could take them to the desert mm -hmm. and it's more like a hobby and mm -hmm. you know and then it becoming more slowly as professional so we could plan for them because there is now a possibility of communication with the other world we could have phones mobiles of course internet emails so we could send the can book by us we have a website of course so the people could book through our website the different tours which they want or they send us a request and we could plan especially a program for this group it depends what they want yes mm -hmm. and depends also about the time about the days so we could arrange especially the program for them it depends about their needs mm -hmm. but we have a variety of programs we could adapt our program to the needs of the people what yes. about the most common nationalities are there certain nationalities who are interested in safaris more than others yes i can say it's difficult to say because earlier it depends about the communication mm -hmm. like I mean, the markets what about the markets you working with uh, i was working because i mm -hmm. have my wife she's swiss and i don't have a communication with the swiss national mm -hmm. nationality so i work with the swiss german italian the swiss Ger and german you work more for meditation for camel ride for mm -hmm. short tours we have also uh, italian groups which who go for long range safaris very deep in the desert for two weeks and sometime for three weeks mm -hmm. to go deeper not only white desert deeper to the gulf of kibir and great sansi mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, there is other people also in bahari as you have communication with japanese so they used to do also tours with japanese people and korean people so they could also bring a lot also of tourists so we have almost all the nationalities sorry all the nationalities which used to come most nationalities european <coughs> chinese korean japanese so only the americans very listed nowadays but earlier was also a lot of americans who was coming a lot to the oasis yes what about the the development that you need here in the region and specifically at al wahat al bahariya to be uh, having more tourists coming and visiting in your opinion yes i mean as i as i gave a special thanks in the beginning to our mayor he's really done a lot in the last few years to the oasis and he's very helpful but we need more because the oasis needs really uh, more uh, care about the cleaning, about uh, the environment, of course. Uh, we need a vitamin program to clean the oasis and to keep the area as it was before, not to change it, not to move it from a small, nice oasis to a big city. That we do want. We want to have the environment as the same as it is nowadays, but in a nicer way. That's one thing. The second thing, we need, of course, we have a lot of hot springs and that could use really like a big centers in an eco way of building yes that's to heal the people so a lot of people could be treated from egypt and outside mm -hmm. and this centers because this all the spring is needs really a lot of big centers for physiotherapy and that's really one of the big thing we have the lakes which can make really a lot of sailing or uh, fishing or you can do really a lot uh, bird photographing you could do a lot with the lakes with the springs just with the oasis here so the lakes uh, hot springs the nature uh, you can do a lot of work also with the palm trees and you know you could do a lot you need just you can do everything uh, yes of yes. course we have all the material yes, yes actually uh, at the beginning of your talk you mentioned the archaeological sites and the 26 dynasty monuments uh, like the tomb of Benintu and other now uh, what are the highlights here like if you're doing uh, of course in addition to the safari and the hot springs what are the important archaeological sites that usually you take your visitors to 
sorry, I don't get exactly what you mean with this question. The archaeological sites. Yes, archaeological, yeah. 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 Which, like, which tombs and temples do you take uh, yeah. uh, your travelers to? Yeah, of course, I or told you, you we had the golden yeah. mummies. Yes. And that's very rare, you see them, I mean, uh, yeah. uh, here we have uh, the golden mummies. Is it open mum now? Uh, is it's it open, yes, the golden mummies, you have them in a small museum. Yeah. Could be mm -hmm. become big, bigger than a museum, mm -hmm. but uh, we are happy that we have at least we, some yeah. mummies, mm -hmm. and they are very nice, golded, mm -hmm. uh, in this museum. We have two temples open, two mm -hmm. tombs, sorry, mm -hmm. open to the tourists, mm -hmm. and uh, Benantio and his father. Yes. They are very nice in decoration and the colors, and it says something really about the history. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the temple of also Moftella, which uh, talks a lot about the oasis and agriculture rules. It gives us really a big mm -hmm. idea of how it was oasis earlier time. Mm -hmm. We have the temple of Alexander the Great also mm -hmm. here, and only the first, the first and only figure have seen for Alexander in Western Desert have found in this temple mm -hmm. because there is another temple in Siwa but there you don't see any figure for Alexander the Great mm -hmm. so probably Alexander the Great also passed uh, here to go in his journey to Siwa so yes. we have a lot of uh, I tell you uh, to say about the archaeology here mm -hmm. and still a lot is which not open for tourists and mm -hmm. we hope also the government care that it can be open for tourists so we have more archaeological here that's from this 28th dynasty, but that's not only. We have also a lot of tools, a lot of graffiti, as I said, from prehistoric time, Paleolithic and Neolithic time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's also not shown, not open yet for mm -hmm. tourists, but we could see some of it. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do know that uh, a lot of foreigners yeah. are choosing to leave their homelands and come here to the oasis and live and reside for maybe the yeah. rest of their lives. Yeah. What makes them take such a decision, it's a big decision to yeah, be clear. not living even in Cairo, yeah, they're clear. living in Al Wahat Al Bahariya. Yeah, clear, because they are coming here for peaceful, for the kindness of the people, the, uh, for the weather, of course, which is very nice, mostly warm the whole year, so it is uh, <laughs> a good place for vacation, for uh, to, uh, people can stay and live here. I told you my wife, she's from Switzerland, she stayed also in the oasis. We had also German ladies which married here and lived here. There is others who is not married and still living uh, in the oasis. So, uh, clear. Yes. Yeah. I understand also that in addition uh, to that, of course, uh, uh, the tradition it's, it's very unique here, the tradition of uh, the oasis, and that can also be one of the sources of entertainment, the folk night, the stargazing, the Bedouin tents. So would you tell us about these uh, folkloric and cultural aspects that you offer to the travelers, please? Yeah, that's a nice question. Uh, Baharian peoples you have really a very nice folklore, which... Uh, talks about the desert and uh, about the people in the desert who lives in the desert here. So, uh, of course, there is some Semeya which they invited, they invented here. They have also uh, this, of course, drums. They make a really very nice uh, folklore, and it's special and it's different from other places in whole Egypt. It's a very unique, and we could start really earlier, you know, to invite the people. So we used to stay in the night together, like the young people together, and invite people and tourists to come to share us these parties. But also could be also nowadays uh, you can arrange these parties if the group wants. But earlier it was just free, just to go in any place in the desert or in a coffee shop or in a house and make your party together, the young people, and you could invite really the people to live and enjoy this environment. Well, it's, it's great here. It's full of uh, activities, full of folklore and important uh, things to see as well as recreational. I'd like to thank you uh, very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Khalid Khalifa, the tourism uh, expert for this interview. Well, and now uh, we will be going to a quick break, but we'll be back for more on Nal Cruise from the Bahariya Oasis. Yes, you will come indeed. You will come. Ole, ole, when did I jump to you? When did I jump to you? Ole, ole, when did I jump to you? 
نسيتي يا زمان ونسيت ليالي ليه نسيتي يا زمان ونسيت ليالي ليه وليه وليه وانت تحجبتي ليه ليه وليه وليه انت تحجبتي ليه ليه نسيتي يا زمان ونسيت ليالي ليه نسيتي يا زمان ونسيت ليالي ونسيت ليالينا وانت تروح وتجينا ليش نسيت ليالينا وانت تروح وتجينا ونسيت ليالينا وانت تروح وتجينا ليش نسيت ليالينا وانت تروح وتجينا نسيت ليالينا وانت تروح وتجينا ليش نسيت ليالينا وانت تروح وتجي جوا الوضع وحدينا واللي في قلبك قلتي والوضه وحدينا واللي في قلبك قلتي ليه وليه وليه انت تحجبتي ليه ليه وليه وليه انت تحجبتي ليه وليه نسيت ايام زمان ونسيت ليالي ليه نسيت ايام زمان ونسيت ليالي ونسيت ايام زمان لما نزلنا الغيطان نسيت ايام زمان لما نزلنا الغيطان قطعنا البرتقان وفي حجرك لميتي قطعنا البرتقان وفي حجرك لميتي وليه 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 انت تحجبتي ليه ليه وليه وليه انت تحجبتي ليه وليه نسيت ايام زمان ونسيت ليالي ليه نسيت ايام زمان ونسيت ليالي ويام عيون عوادي ليه نسيت الماضي يم عيون عوادي ليش نسيت الماضي يم عيون عوادي ليه نسيت الماضي